Timo here, and today I am in my private server because this bad boy launches as soon. Like the private servers always update first, so I am here to see what Sean has to say. You are far. Too, you've had far too much fun this summer. You've had far too much fun. Easy exchange, fellow human. Earn galactic shards by completing your daily routine. Feeding your pets, taking them on long walks to the beach, letting them drink out of puddles. Um, I bought the rarest Glormies from my home base. Glorpin Team Galaxy. Feline and canine like you have never seen before. It's dogs and cats from outer space. Sounds perfect to your human brain, does it not? Care for your pets and claim prizes from the galactic passes as weeks go on. Everyone wins. We'll trade soon. Okay, so let's check out this galactic pass together, shall we? So we have some shards. Always keep the shards, guys, because you'll need them. Those are available in 6 days. It's available in 13 days, and that's 175, and that's also 175. So the same amount of price, that's not too bad. That's not too bad, because you get, I guess, 1, 2... Okay, we'll go through all of it together. So 1 there, 1 there, 2 of those, 2, 2, shoes, 3, 10... Three, one normal age up potion, three of those, five of those, one of those, five of those, ten of those, two age up potions, six, ten, another beetle, and twenty-five. So each task, or at least each percentage, you'll get you should be able to get each pass you'll get two. And after your pass is finished, you have to spend 3,000 bucks to refresh the pass, which a lot of people have been really, really unhappy with. But it is what it is. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get an egg. I'm going to get a spare egg out because you guys know I always have spare eggs. Let's get my garden egg out. And actually, let's put away the shadow because I think my bat had actually a task. And we have to do five tasks for a pet for 150 shards and then we have to do hatch one egg for another 150 shards well i guess that's xp i don't think that's the actual shards i think that is xp so a little bit disappointing there but it's okay okay guys it is a-okay we've got a bunch of tasks we can do uh i don't know if we just get two of these a day or they also replenish you're gonna have to wait and see with me because i will be doing these tasks with you guys and we'll figure this out together because i actually don't know how this works this is my first time playing i'm really really excited for it though what i'm gonna do i'm gonna eat some candy corn because if you don't know me i like speeding around the map and the easiest way to do that is by getting candy corn but yes, you get two of the beetles every time the pass is there, every first time of the pass, and then it continues on. So it'll take two uh, passes to be done to be able to make the neon beetle. I don't think that's too bad. A lot of people thought it was going to be really, really difficult. I luckily don't think that's the case. So hatch one egg. Do I have any Robux? I don't think so. I have 10 XP for the galaxy pass for doing one task. That's not a lot of percentage, to be honest. That is not a lot. So this is probably going to take a while. Do I have enough Robux to open this? I do. Okay, hopefully instant hatch counts. I don't really mind what I get out of the garden egg, okay? I really, really don't mind. What did I get? I got a Prey Amandus. That's actually not bad. And we ended up getting 150 XP for that, which is pretty great too. So that means we have almost got our first shard. And we can also check here. Oh, these do replenish. Complete three hungry, sleepy, or bored needs for your pet. So these do replenish every time, which is also amazing. I'm really, really happy with that because I was afraid that was only going to be two tasks a day. And that would have just made it a lot more difficult. You can't actually buy shards, so it's fair enough for everyone. And there's going to be this. I can't tell what that looks like. It looks like a fluffy dog, maybe? I'm kind of unsure. I think that looks kind of like, like a really, really fluffy, like an outer space dog kind of situation. And then let's see what if I can tell uh, what that looks like. That looks like kind of like a fox. It's hard to tell. It's got whiskers, so maybe a cat. Maybe it's a cat and a dog. I don't know. It's kind of confusing. What do you guys think they are? I think it might be like a space dog and a space cat. I don't know how the designs will look, so I'm really, really interested to see how they are going to look by the end of it. I'm going to look in the journal and see if any of them have been added. Let's see. We'll look at collected, and it will showcase us to one pet we do not have, which is the only pet currently in the game, which is the Singularity Beetle. <laughs> Oh, I actually quite like the neon variation. It doesn't really change the 
uh, galaxy pie on the tail, but I'm actually okay with that. It makes the body look a lot... Oh, gosh. Okay, that does, though. That fully changes it. Uh, I'm okay with it. I don't think I want to make it mega. It does look pr pretty cool, but at the same time, I think this looks absolutely gorgeous. And it's rare. I thought it was going to be common. I'm not going to lie to you. I did think it was going to be common. That's really exciting, though. That is super duper exciting that it is only a uh, rare, it, that it is a rare pet in contrast to the common pet. Again, there's been so many common pets recently and ultra rare, so it's nice to have a little bit of an in-between of a rare. And we don't know what the um, other two pets are. I'm just going to assume they're a dog and a cat because they kind of look like a long cat or and a, and a fluffy dog. I'm not entirely sure. We will have to wait and see. We have, I think, six days, so up until next. What is that? It's currently Friday when this video goes up, so I think it's going to be about Thursday. I'm not very good with days of the week, okay? I'm not very good. I'm not a, a smart boy, okay? I am I am not a smart boy. So that's another task, and they gave us a bit. I think that gives us 5 XP for each task as well. No, 10. 10 XP for each task. We have to complete 5 needs for your pet. Hopefully, both of my pets here are going to need to have a bath. That would make it a lot easier because that will mean I get another 150 XP. Oh, Dave is hungry. Beautiful. Thank you, Dave, for being a fat boy like me. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, gosh. I appreciate it, Dave. <laughs> So, hopefully after complete three hungry, sleepy, or bored needs. So I need to do one more of those to get 500 XP. I'm going to teleport back to... Well, I can't actually leave my house. There is no door to leave. That's one negative about glitch build. There is no way to actually leave. Um, you just have to kind of teleport away. It, it kind of sucks that way, but it is what it is. Um, I need 66 XP for the next level, which isn't too bad at all. Does it say anything? It just says available in six days. I was hoping it could give us a little bit more of information, but apparently not. Apparently not. It is what it is. I don't know if this is actually live in public servers right now. Updates are really, really delayed in public servers in contrast to uh, private servers. So... If you're wanting to uh, check out an update as soon as it goes live, always do it in private servers. Then wait about 10 to 15 minutes before it goes live in public servers. Just because it gives you a little bit of a cheeky head start. And it's just a lot more fun to be able to explore new updates alone than it is to uh, to get swarmed and have people being like, how do we do this? How do we do that? In the, in the chat, it's very nice and relaxing to just be able to, to do this. And at least now, we're going to have five needs for your pets done. Let's go! Come on! Give me XP! 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 A Claim that. So now I need to complete six hungry or thirsty needs, which is a really, really easy thing to do. And I've already got level one of my galactic pass done. Wait, did I not get it done? Wait. Wait. Oh yeah, I did. I had to go collect it. But now I have one galactic shard! Let's go! Uh, because... If those are 100, what is that, 175, so I should get, uh, I think it's under 100 each time, so it's going to take a while, you're going to have to do this pass a good few times, and because the pass takes, what is it, 3,000 to reset, I don't know if they changed that number, it was 3,000 when they announced, or when they showcased a little bit of it a couple of days ago, so I'm unsure right now how it is, um, but I'm intrigued, Oh, do the prices go up each time? I don't actually know how this works. Did that go up? It did. Let's go. Okay, let's take these to the pizza place real quick. Buy an egg from the gumbo machine, and I have to complete six hungry or thirsty tasks. Not too much of an issue. I'm actually really, really happy with this. I'll do a separate video when I make my first neon. It's going to take a couple of days because I am tired as anything so i'm probably gonna go take a nap after this is recorded but i do appreciate you guys you guys for watching are you gonna grind this out and are you going to be getting these pets when they come out in about a week let me know bye